Zara had long convinced herself that love was nothing more than a game, a tool used by men to manipulate and control women. She had learned this painful lesson through years of heartbreak and mistreatment at the hands of those she once trusted. With each relationship that ended in betrayal, Zara's heart hardened, and she became bitter. Love, in her eyes, was nothing but a weapon of deceit, and she vowed never to let herself be vulnerable again. As she stared at her reflection in the mirror, she saw not the person she once was but someone who had been shaped by the pain inflicted by others. No longer would she be the victim of love's cruel joke. She had become cold, calculating, and determined to protect herself at all costs. The men who had hurt her had left emotional scars, and now, Zara was done with relationships in the traditional sense. She made a decision, to never allow herself to fall in love again. Instead, she would become the one in control, using men as they had used her. Her heart had become a fortress, and she wasn't going to let anyone tear it down again. Zara was ready to face the world with her new perspective on love. With her newfound resolve, Zara set out on a mission. She had been hurt too many times to trust anyone again, so instead of letting herself get emotionally involved, she turned the tables. Her aim was clear, she would deal with men the way they had dealt with her. She became a master of manipulation, playing the role of a sweet and attentive girlfriend, all the while plotting her next move. Zara knew exactly what to say and how to act to get what she wanted. The men she dated never suspected a thing, they were too blinded by her charm to see her true intentions. Each relationship became a game of cat and mouse, with Zara always staying one step ahead. She would skillfully extort money from them, taking what she could without ever giving herself emotionally or physically. Once she had gotten what she wanted, she ended things abruptly leaving behind a trail of confused and heartbroken men. It was risky, and deep down, she knew it was wrong, but Zara didn't care. She was so bitter with men that it felt like justice to her, a way to reclaim her power and get back at those who had wronged her. She was convinced that this was the only way to protect herself from being hurt again. Then Martin came along, and Zara's usual approach didn't work the same way. From the beginning, she could tell that Martin was different from the other men she had dealt with. He wasn't trying to impress her with expensive gifts or lavish dates. Instead, Martin was sincere, showing a genuine interest in who she was as a person. At first, Zara brushed it off, thinking he was just another mark in her game. She tried her usual tactics, asking for money and favors, expecting him to fall into the same pattern as the others. But Martin's response was unexpected. He didn't hesitate to give her what she asked for, but it wasn't out of obligation or to impress her, it was out of love. Every time he did something for her, Zara could sense that it came from a place of genuine care, not because he expected something in return. His love was something she had never experienced before, and it unsettled her. No matter how hard she tried to distance herself from him emotionally, Martin's kindness and patience began to chip away at the walls she had built around her heart. Zara found herself questioning everything she had believed about love and relationships. Zara was used to cutting ties and moving on without a second thought, but with Martin, it wasn't that simple. Each time she thought about walking away, something held her back. For the first time, she felt guilt, an emotion she hadn't associated with her dealings with men. She couldn't understand why she cared so much about Martin's feelings. After all, he was supposed to be just another target, another man to manipulate and leave behind. Yet, his unwavering kindness and genuine affection made her feel something she hadn't felt in years, remorse. Zara tried to push the feelings aside, telling herself that it was all part of the game, but the guilt gnawed at her. 
She couldn't shake the thought that Martin deserved better, and it scared her. She was used to being in control, but with Martin, she felt vulnerable. Every word he spoke, every gesture he made, carried weight, and Zara couldn't ignore it. She started to question whether her bitterness was worth the cost of losing someone who truly cared about her. For days, she wrestled with her emotions, trying to make sense of the unfamiliar feelings swirling inside her. Martin had changed something in her, and she wasn't sure she could go back to the way things were. After days of internal struggle, Zara made a decision that surprised even herself, she was going to take Martin seriously. No more games, no more manipulation. It was a decision that didn't come easily, but the more she thought about it, the more she realized that Martin had shown her something she hadn't experienced in a long time, real love. She wanted to see where this new path could lead, so she stopped asking Martin for money and began focusing on their connection. At first, Martin was puzzled by the change. The woman he had fallen in love with seemed different, more open, more vulnerable, and less interested in material things. He couldn't understand why she had suddenly stopped her requests for money, but instead of questioning it too much, he watched her with a curious eye. Zara was trying her best to navigate this new territory, unsure of how to handle a relationship that wasn't built on manipulation. She found herself wanting to spend more time with Martin, not because of what he could give her, but because of who he was. For the first time in a long time, Zara felt a genuine connection, and it both thrilled and terrified her. Zara knew that she couldn't keep hiding the truth from Martin forever. He deserved to know why she had changed, and she owed it to herself to be honest. So one evening, she sat him down and told him everything. It was one of the hardest conversations she had ever had, but Zara knew it was necessary. She opened up about her past, recounting the painful experiences that had led her to become so bitter. She explained how the men in her life had hurt her and how, in response, she had turned to using men as a form of revenge. Martin listened quietly, his expression never wavering as she poured out her heart. She admitted to extorting money from him, even though she hadn't wanted to, because she had been so conditioned to treat all men the same. Zara spoke about how Martin's love had changed her, how it had made her realize that she didn't have to live with bitterness anymore. When she finished, Zara looked down, afraid of what Martin's reaction might be. But instead of anger or disappointment, Martin gently took her hand in his. His eyes were filled with understanding, and he spoke words that Zara hadn't expected to hear. Zara, Martin said softly, I'm not going anywhere. I love you, and I always will. Let's move forward together, no more looking back. His words brought tears to Zara's eyes, and in that moment, she felt a sense of relief she hadn't felt in years. She realized that Martin truly loved her, not despite her past but because he saw the real her underneath all the layers of pain and bitterness. Days later, Martin surprised Zara with a grand gesture, a public proposal in front of a crowd at the shopping mall. He remembered how she had once mentioned in passing that she would love a public proposal, and he made sure to fulfill that wish. Zara was overwhelmed with emotion as Martin got down on one knee and asked her to marry him. Tears streamed down her face as she realized that, for the first time in her life, she was experiencing love in its purest form. She accepted his proposal with a heart full of gratitude and joy, knowing that this was the beginning of a new chapter in her life, a chapter filled with love, trust, and healing. Martin had shown her that true love wasn't about taking or giving, it was about growing and healing together. Zara stood in front of the mirror once more, but this time, she didn't see the same bitter woman she had seen before. Instead, she saw someone who had been through pain but had come out stronger on the other side. 
Her journey from bitterness to love had been difficult, but it had been worth it. With Martin by her side, Zara knew that she could finally let go of the past and embrace a future filled with love and happiness. For the first time in a long time, she felt at peace. She had learned that love wasn't just a game, it was a powerful force that could heal even the deepest wounds. As she prepared for her new life with Martin, Zara felt a sense of hope and excitement that she hadn't felt in years. She knew that there would still be challenges ahead, but with Martin's love and support, she was ready to face them. Together, they would continue to grow and heal, building a life filled with trust, compassion, and unwavering love. Zara's journey had come full circle, and she had finally found the love she had always deserved.